to another video. Everyone wants to use those exciting new AI tools, but when they see that it requires an AI model API and that AI model costs $15 per million tokens, most people get scared and run away. We all want to try things out first, maybe with some free credits, before committing to paying. Now, there are some options that allow you to use certain models for free, like Samba Nova or Grok, but those platforms only offer a specific set of models that aren't state-of-the-art, like Claude, and those models often can't provide the best experience, and in some cases, they just fail. In some of my recent videos, I've talked about how I've been using Claude Dev and Ader for free while using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and of course, this has intrigued many people. I've been doing this by using Google's Vertex AI, and many people have asked me how they can configure it with Vertex and possibly take advantage of the free credits they provide. So, today, I'll show you how you can use Google's Vertex AI along with Claude 3.5 Sonnet for free. First of all, many of you may wonder, what is Google Vertex AI? Well, Google Vertex AI is essentially Google's version of OpenRouter in simpler terms. They offer a bunch of models you can use through their API, like Llama 3.1, Gemma, Gemini, and the best of the bunch, the Claude models. Now, there's generally no reason to use their platform to access the models because it doesn't support caching with the Claude models and similar features. But... One thing that makes it a great option is the free $300 credit. Yes, you can easily use Google's Vertex AI with the free $300 credit and access Claude or other models they offer until you hit that $300 limit, which is great to use. Also, you only get the $300 credit if you add a credit card, but without it, you still get $150 credit which is also nice. Anyway, to set it up, just click the Get Started option and it will take you to this page. Now, here, you'll see some models you can use to chat, but as you can see, there's no Claude model here. So, to add that, you'll need to go over to the Model Gardens option. Once there, you'll see a variety of models. Just click the Anthropic option and then select Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now, just click the Enable button, and it will activate. Once that's done, we're pretty much done here. Next, we'll need to install the Google Cloud CLI to allow other programs, like Claude Dev and Ader, to use the Google Vertex API. So, to do that, download the Google Cloud CLI tool from this page and run the command to install it. I'm using a Mac, so I just downloaded this file, unzipped it, and ran this command. That installed the CLI tool. But we're still not done. We'll also need to log in with our account. So, to do that, you'll need to run this gcloud init command, and it will open a browser pop up asking you to log in. Just log in, and once you've done that, we can start configuring things. Let's start by configuring it with Ader. First, make sure you've installed an updated Ader. To install it, you can simply run pip install Ader chat, or you can add upgrade to the command to get the latest version. Anyway, to configure Ader with Vertex, you'll need to add two environment variables, the project ID and the location. You can easily find the project ID by going to Google Vertex AI, where you'll find the project ID and the region. Just enter those into the respective variables. Once that's done, we can start using it. Just run this command with the Claude model name, and you're good to go. You can now use Ader with Claude for free, which is really cool, isn't it? Let's ask it to create a simple to-do app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's send the request and see. It's doing that now, so we'll need to wait a bit for the results. Let's wait.
and it's done. You can see that it works well, just like Sonnet. Let's run it. Okay, it's working fine, which is great. So, that's how you can configure Aider with Vertex AI. Now, you'll also want to use it with Claude Dev. To do that, just open VS Code and make sure you've installed and updated Claude Dev. Now, open it and go to the Settings option. Here, you'll find the Vertex AI option, so select it. It will ask for the same information, the project ID and region. Just retrieve that information and enter it. Once you've done that, select the Claude model and we can start using it. Just click the Done option and now we have the chat interface here. Let's ask it to create a simple Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's send the request and see. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait again. and it's done. You can see the code here, and it's pretty good. Let's run it and check it out. And it looks great. This is amazing. I mean, what more could you want? It's free, it works well, and it's just awesome. I've been using it, and there's no difference between this and the original Claude. One thing I'd like to mention, though, I wouldn't recommend using real credits for this. If you want to use real credits, just go with Open Router or Anthropic directly as your provider because they support prompt caching, which makes inference 90% cheaper. Vertex AI doesn't support that, so this is great for free credits, but not ideal for paid usage. Keep that in mind. Also, recently, OpenAI held their dev day and launched new features like prompt caching. If you use Claude Dev with GPT-4, it should be much cheaper. If you want to know more about what was announced at Dev Day, check out my members-only video. I post regular updates about AI news, extended videos, and cool AI tools, so consider becoming a member. It starts at just $5 and supports the channel. Anyway, I think this is definitely a great option. You can also use models like Llama, 3.1 Flux, and others on the Vertex platform, although they will use up your credits. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.